What you're going to see in these next two videos is left leg adduction with compensation and then left leg adduction without compensation. Because compensation is a very, uh, it's just a very abstract term or word until you can actually see what it means. So what you're going to see is the first time I do this little technique, my right leg will be straight. And it's going to be kind of on a little ottoman, my famous ottoman that everyone should get. And as I adduct my left leg, which should use my left adductor and my left glute medius, what you're going to see is the, my right BC pattern, the right brachial chain pattern compress. It activates in order to get me fake, fake adduction. Now I slowed it down into like a, a slow motion film so you can see it, but that's what we're talking about. When pe people get fake left leg, left side of the body movement, they're not really using the proper muscles. When you see that right side close down, you can also be assured that my pelvis rotated back to the right. If you're adducting your left leg and your pelvis moves to the right, that's not really adduction. And what you're really gonna do is kick on your left hip flexors. So you're adducting with your hip flexors as your pelvis rotates to the right. To get true left leg adduction, your pelvis has to be shifted or oriented to the left. So that's what you're gonna see in the first, uh, the first video. In the second video, you'll see me do the same thing, but this time I lift my left leg and there's no compression of the right side. It's pure adduction, which means my pattern stayed off. Uh, why the discrepancy? Well, for the past three months, I've been struggling because I know my, uh, my prescription has changed. And right now I'm wearing my contact lenses, 2.0s, plus uh, reading glasses, computer glasses, which are 0.75, on top of that, because the 2.0 is not enough and it's been just driving me nuts for the past three months and I haven't been able to get a visual exam because of quarantine. Uh, so I'm doing the best I can. So what you're seeing is, uh, uh, I was playing around, it was a couple weeks ago anyway, but I was playing around with different prescriptions. Um, and somehow for the second one, I'm not sure what I did, but, but when, I, when, I, when I actually tried to do left, adduct my left leg and you see the right brachial chain kick in. That was not planned. I wasn't trying to do a demonstration. I was just filming myself doing it. And then, and then I watched it. I was like, oh my God, that's complete. It, it didn't feel right. So I, I, you know, when I watched it, I realized that's the right brachial chain and the left AIC chain uh, of muscles kicking in to get me fake left leg, uh, left leg adduction. It's not a strength issue for me. It is completely sensory at this point. So there's no reason I would not be able to do that under normal circumstances uh, if I had the proper sensory input, which is the key. So if I do this with these contacts and the glasses on, uh, I have no issue. So for me, again, this is completely sensory, but in the beginning of a PRI program, most people, what you see, most people, um, they can't keep the old pattern off more because of a strength issue. Neurosensory, strength, not like weightlifting strength, neuro, they, they, they have a type of strength, but it's not the type we're looking for. So for them, it's, it's more of a neuromuscular, neurosensory issue. And I would say more neuromuscular in the beginning. Once they have appropriate strength, like I do, then it becomes a neurosensory pretty much only. If they can't do this and they keep turning on the old pattern, uh, it's usually at that point, you gotta start thinking really sensory. Is there something going on with the eyes, teeth, feet? Maybe they need orthotics. Or maybe, you know, I, I, I'm assuming competent uh, instruction on these things. So, you know, just, just realize that what you're looking at in this video is not a strength issue. It is a sensory issue. Because uh, I can't figure out what my proper uh, prescription should be. And that when I don't have my proper prescription, I'm much more likely to turn on the inappropriate pattern to move, which is my left AIC, right BC, and probably right TMCC pattern.